All right, here we go. Week one, two brand new teams. Our first two brand new teams, like with no prior league involvement in a long, long time. So I'm very excited for this. Uh, it's the debut of Mentally Illist, and it's the debut of the Maca Bros. We have Andrew, Steven, and Brian versus Jeffrey, Steven, and Jeremy. Jeremy, obviously, uh, a fixture of the league since the summer tournament I, last year. I, I feel per I, I feel personally attacked with the statistic to watch. Yeah, so statistic to watch. I put who is Brian. I I know who Brian is, so I feel bad about that. Um, but I will note that obviously I I'm pretty familiar with Stephen and Andrew's uh, trivia capabilities from 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 Mel Mushroom and other locales. And I'm I, a uh, I'm a longtime fan of the Ocho, so I'm honored. Oh, to okay. Be there we go. Um, all right, so, and then Jeremy, obviously, 0-2 is a sub, you know, tough for him, but maybe he'll get his first win tonight. Um, yeah, last week, playing Mellow Mushroom Trivia, I mean, it was a little longer than a week ago, but, you know, it's what they do, and Jeremy was eating sandwiches, because that's, that's his go-to niche. Yeah, Spencer, it's news to me that we have fans as well, but it's very exciting. Um, okay. Petey, Petey managed to get kicked out of his breakout room, so I'm going to have to deal with that cool um before we start we're just gonna pd pd yeah i had to leave my phone to my computer can you send me to the other game yeah i will i, will. Right, PD. I, will, I will whisk you away breakout room good, good luck everyone play safe all right bye bye okay now we're good to start um Mentally illness, you are the away team. You're going to be going first every round. Um, you'll have a minute to answer your question. If the other team is wrong, you'll have 30 seconds to steal. Um, if you look at the top, you'll see there's a little arrow pointed to your logo when it's your team's turn, so that can keep you straight. Um, I'll just run over the lifelines for you guys real quick. You get to double one question, so that one will be worth two points. It can't be one of your two niche questions. Those are automatically worth two points. And you get to phone a friend one time. When you call them, when they answer, they'll have 30 seconds to answer the question. After they hang up, you'll have another 15 to finalize the question. I will go over that again when you use the lifeline. Those are the two you have. Can't use either on a steal. Um, and you have to tell me you're doubling before the category starts. So movie sequels is your first ever category for both teams. They want to double this. Movie sequels. Steven, Jeff, I, th I think we go safe on the first one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's save it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, no one's going to double then. So, Mentally Illest, this question is for you. Here it is. Dial of Destiny is the name of the upcoming fifth movie set to be released this year in what franchise? Give a minute. The timer's at the top of the screen for you. So, so do, we just, do we just talk this out now? Yeah, yeah, you can talk all you want. Oh, okay, cool. So, cool. Okay. Okay. all right. Any, any thoughts, boys? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's Indiana Jones. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll go with that. Yeah, sold. Sold. All right. So to be clear for both teams, um, is that your final answer? I'll just ask for this one. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with yes. I, I don't want to speak for everyone here. Yeah, no, no, you're you're good with that. <laughs> cool. As long as Steven gets. That's King correct. Seven. It is Indiana Jones. So you're on the board with your first point. Um. So yeah, the way that it works is like when you guys are settled on an answer, um, one of you to say final answer, and then it's good. If you run out of time, then I'm just going to take the last thing someone said. So if you guys kind of want to like decide amongst yourselves, you'd be like your final answer guy. Anyone can say it, but it's usually good to have like one person that you kind of like. Andrew yeah. for sure. Andrew for sure. All right. So, yeah. All right, I'll give final answer. I assume Jeremy will be on the other side, I'm sure, because he, he knows what's going on. So yeah, on board, yeah I got you. Zero. here's your question, Macro Bros. The Lost Kingdom is the name of the upcoming sequel in what superheroes franchise that will be released this year? Ooh, I know this one. Do you know Steven? No, I don't know superheroes. I have no idea Batman. either. Oh, okay. Um, the superhero <laughs> franchise. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Aquaman, final answer. Correct. Both Thanks. teams on the board with their first category. I'm impressed. So it is 1-1. One, one. And we have two Stevens in the game. It's going to be confusing. Okay. Um, just a side note. College sports are next category. So this is a, it's a dual college football, college basketball question. Does anyone want to know? I, 
I kind of want to double on this, Coop. I, I kind of do as well. S- Go Steve, for it. Steven, I, I know you know some college football. Go for it. All right, we're going to double this one. All right, you're sending the double early. Jeremy's got that confidence. Okay, so yours will be worth two, but this first one's going to be worth one for Mentally Illest. Um, so just to, to really quick break down the way the sports categories work in this game, you get four of them. You're going to get two of three out of the MLB, the NBA, and the NFL. You're going to get one round of college sports, which is this. And you are going to get one sports other category. It could be anything else. Hockey, soccer, cycling, I don't know, anything. So to be clear, this is your college sports category. Um, I can tell you how many of sports versus non-sports are left for like you to plan your doubles and stuff, but I can't tell you exactly what categories are left. Um, Mentally illness, this is for you. Here's your question. What is the only school since 2000 with both a Heisman and Wooden Award winner? All right, so you got to think about the schools that have had Heisman winners. Obviously, Alabama, but they haven't had a Wooden Award winner, so that's not going to be it. Yeah. So we can throw Wooden, that off the board. The kids also have won the Wooden last year? Uh, yeah, honestly, that's – it's probably a pretty good guess. I'm, I'm trying follow, to think of I don't follow like, basketball, so this is – I thought I'm college basketball. I mean, I follow basketball. I don't know who the fuck wins the Wooden Award. Yeah, no, I don't know if I, – I don't know if I follow who wins the Wooden Award, but I think Auburn is probably your best guess. Like, that's, that's what I would probably think it would be because, I mean, they're relevant in both football and basketball, so. I think, that's, any a, I think that. that's a safe guess. I wouldn't be upset if we got that wrong. We're running out of time, so final at Andrew. Yeah, we're going to go final answer, Auburn. Okay. Incorrect first steal of the night. Oops. So we get time to talk about it? My, yeah. First, yeah. my first inkling was USC, but I, I can't remember. <laughs> I, think, if, I can't remember when Ron Dane won his Heisman. Was no, that 99 I, or 2000? It, it's, it's Oklahoma with Blake Griffin, I think. Oh. And oh yeah, Kyler or whoever. Yeah, all right. I think we go with that. I, I'm okay, I'm, I'm down. O- Oklahoma final answer. It is Oklahoma. Let's go, Coop. Yes, Blake Griffin is correct. Trey Young is not correct. Actually, he didn't win it. But um, Kyler and did Buddy Hill win? Oh. Ashley's freaking out. She was like, oh. So regardless, you are correct. So that's a steal. So you're up two one, and this is this would make it four one, albeit very early and. Mentally ill, so would still have their double. Here's yours. The only schools to have a first overall pick in both the NBA and NFL drafts since 2010 are LSU and what other university? In the same year? No, just at all since 2010. Did Georgia have a number one uh, NFL? Because I know Anthony Edwards, my guy, was number one. Uh, um, they did last year, so yes. Yeah, they had Trevon- Trevon Georgia. Walker. Yeah, Georgia, final answer. <laughs> Let's go. It is Georgia. Jeremy, you you put some work in assembling this squad, it looks like. I, I told you the Macabros feel disrespected with the preseason polls. Oh Facts. yeah, that was that was some bullshit. <laughs> All right. It's four one, but like I said, it's very early and mentally illist. I it's I so I have you as M I. I do initials on my score sheet, so I keep saying mentally incompetent. <laughs> um hit, hitting the slopes. This is a, uh, a geography question. It's about, about ski resorts. So I want to double this. Or just mentally illustrate the ones for your double. I, I think we might want to think about that. Boys, I think, I think this is probably a really good one to double. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's a solid one to double. This is a really solid one. Look, we're going to double this. Yeah. All right. So both the doubles will be off the board early. If you get this right, it's a one-point game. And here's your question. Categories vary in difficulty. I think this might have been a smart double, but we'll see. Big Sky is a ski resort in which state? Montana, right? Yeah, it's Montana. Final answer, Montana. Oh, I hit that too soon, but it doesn't matter because you're right. It's Montana. Ooh. So it is three to four. I, I will say early, regardless of what happens in this game, it, I think both teams are going to be very, very good going forward. Um, here is your question, Macabros, to bring it to a two-point lead after three yeah, Sun Valley is a ski resort town in what state? Idaho. I, Idaho final know, so. All right, he finaled it. It is correct. Let's go, Stephen. Right, I know my shit, man. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Danny, Danny's laughing in the back, Stephen. Five three. Danny should know. We've reached niche time. <laughs> Fashion brands is the first niche. Um, oh, I have a question. Sorry, I'm a newbie. Yeah, go ahead. If the other team has doubled and they get it wrong, is the steal also a double or is it just yes. one? Yeah, the steal would be worth two points. So if you had stolen the Montana one, it would have been worth two points. Um, so yeah, if you guys, it's all, obviously all of your first games besides kind of Jeremy. So if you have any questions, you can just let me know at any time. Um, but you guys have seemed to pick up the hang of it. Yeah, uh, Mac and Bros have already tied the amount of points the losing team got in our earlier game. So uh, looking pretty good. And mentally, Ellis will be passing that very soon. They can tie it if they get this question right. Niches are worth two points. This is yours. Here's your question for fashion brands. Name the brand based on these clues. Founded in 1837. Headquarters is in Paris. Their best-selling product type is leather goods. And a famous item that they sell is the Birkin bag. Final answer, Hermes. Correct. Mm. Didn't know if we could uh, go a little bit more ladies focused into our yacht, but did not. So that temporarily ties us up. And men, or excuse me, Macabros could go back up too. If you can get this sandwich question right, Jeremy, it's your time. Here it is. Name this sandwich common in the UK that's made with white bread filled with French fries and usually topped with ketchup or brown sauce. I think it's a chip buddy. A chip buddy? That I, I was gonna say chip chip something, but that sounds right to me. Coop, do you have any idea? No clue. No clue. Okay. A, that a that chip, sounds good though. A chip buddy? I mean, yeah, that's that sounds right to me. Okay, yeah, let's let, let, let's not overthink it. Uh, chip buddy, final answer. Correct. <laughs> Good shit. They're yet to miss. I was really excited to see what you'd come up for for a sandwich question. <laughs> yeah, I've I've had to make Jeremy I think three sandwich questions before. So, um, well, I think one of them wasn't a niche; it was just a normal sandwiches round. Um, no, it it just came up with sandwich round, and yeah. I was like, if this is a round, that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna niche it. Can we, can we get clarification on what brown sauce is? Uh, like so HB I don't brown. know. It's just like a great, like I've never ordered it at the, but and anyway, you go in the UK, if you're getting a sandwich, like, or like a McDonald's, like a breakfast sandwich, they say ketchup or brown sauce, but I only ever say ketchup. So I've never discovered. It's kind of, it doesn't, I, I had it once. It's very bland. It just tastes brown is the best I can say. <laughs> it tastes brown. Yeah. All right. So it's seven to five. Um, only one team has missed any questions so far, which is absurd. Um, as we move into NBA coaches. Oh, for- Coop, let's go. Got it. Nobody can double this. Um, mentally illness, this one's for you. What active coach who has been a head coach since 2014 and has one title currently leads the Eastern Conference in career regular season winning percentage at 595? Uh, boys, my first thought is Eric Spolstra. Yeah, I mean, five but... coaches in the NBA right now. So, I mean, like, I'm, I'm with you on Eric Spolstra, but like, doesn't he have more than one title? Like, didn't he get? Two? That's 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 a good thought. Yeah, he might. I I think he did win too. He did. Yeah, he did win too. Okay, so. Let's let's cycle this back. Knicks, Nets, no, Celtics, no. It's not necessarily like a current Eastern Conference. They, they are active in the con- in that conference, I will spell. Okay. Both of these. Dwayne Casey? Or Nick Nurse? Yeah, I think Nick Nurse is probably your final answer, Nick Nurse. That's incorrect. Oh, I know this one. That'd be Budenholzer, right? It's Budenholzer, yeah. Budenholzer, final oh. answer. All right, there's still. Oh, yet. good shit. I think so. Most teams, for context, average around eight to nine points a game, and the Macabros have hit eight before we're halfway hey, done here. I I request that we talk it out a little more. You got it right, but oh, I just I I I knew it was Budenholzer because. He he had won one and it was I, either Budenholzer like, or Nurse. So, uh, I, Nate gets I, nurse I, yeah, it wrong, could have so. been Carlisle though. 
Carlisle's Western Carlisle. Wild. He coached in Detroit and Indiana, and he's in Indiana. Oh, Indiana yeah, he's right Indiana now. now. Oh. But it said, it, it said since 2014. Since 2014. Yeah, it's in the Houston no, you're right. too, so. All right. Um, okay. So, stretch your lead out to four. Here's your question. I, I, I feel you, though, Coop. Who has been a head coach since 2019 and has one title, currently leads the Eastern Conference and career playoff winning percentage at 610. I believe that's Nick Nurse. Wait. Who has been a head coach? Nick Nur- Did Nick Nurse take over in 2019? I believe so. Um, Who else has won a title in the last yeah. four years? It would be... The Warriors, the Lakers... Uh, it's it, it's Nick Bucks. Nurse. Yeah, it's it's got to be Nurse. Okay, Nick, Nick Nurse. Final answer. That is correct. So maybe one day you'll miss a question, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, so that makes it nine to five, and we go on to NHL Winter Classic. So no one has their double left, but you both have your phone a friend. Um, just to keep that in mind. Mentally Yellis, here's your question. It's about uh, Winter Classic uniforms. What team used these Winter Classic jerseys in 2009? Steven, uh, I would think it's the Pittsburgh Penguins, but you can. Yeah, the uh, power blue makes me think, yeah. Yeah. Brian, any opposition to the guy who doesn't watch really hockey? Uh, does UNC play in the NHL? Uh, no. Oh, all right. Then it's not going to be them. So. <laughs> okay. Steven, you good with the Penguins? Yeah. Yeah, Pittsburgh, final answer. It is Pittsburgh. Great jersey. Okay. Coop, this is all you. Yeah. yeah do you guys have a hockey guy? Coop. Okay. Not me. We'll see what he can do here. What team used these Winter Classic jerseys in 2015? I like Detroit. Um, mm. could it be the um? What's the Arizona team? No, they haven't played in one. They wouldn't be in a classic. It could be, could it be Philly? They're also red, but that's more of a Detroit red. Philly's orange. I like Detroit. Oh yeah. You you uh, you can find you can finally Detroit Dubai Red Wings final answer. They are mortal. They finally miss the big steal chance here. Steven, uh, first thought is Colorado Avalanche. Yeah, that was my first thought too, but it's kind of a weird color. I'm wondering if this is a retro. Or did they not actually I think that started after 2018. I was thinking maybe it's like um a team that no longer exists, but I think we go with that. Yeah, final answer, Avalanche. It's the wild map. The Capitals. Oh shit. Really? Yeah. So they get the easy one on that round, I see. Okay. That is not a memorable jersey. We have a Penguins fan. He's wearing a beanie. Well, he's not on their team. Bro, you're talking about the easy round. You had three coaches to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Bro, come on. The 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 are you, you even kidding me? I wear some form yeah. of Penguins yeah. gear in, in Get every – out of here. Yeah, in Spencer every, uh, notably, every Spencer Ocho notably game, not so. playing in this game. Um, yeah. Okay, NFL surprising QBs is our next round. Um, mentally illest, here's your question. What NFC quarterback whose team is nine and eight led the league in completion percentage this season? Okay, NFC, who's nine and eight? The Giants. No, the no, because they have a tie. Um not the Seahawks. Not the Seahawks. Not the Commanders. Not the Seahawks. I bet. Uh our roommate knows this one. Sure. All right, we're gonna phone a friend. How do we? How do we do this? All right, so you're just going to. Are you? You're on your computer, right? For Zoom, that'll make you. Okay, yeah. So just unmute yourself, and then you can just call on speakerphone, and then you'll just read him the question. And once you've finished reading the question, he'll have 30 seconds to answer it. And then once you hang up, you'll have 15 seconds to decide on the final answer. Tell him to pause his game of chill.
So Steven, you have to make sure you're unmuted when he answers. Uh, I just I just started calling him. Oh, yeah. Jared, we've got a phone a friend, so we've we've opted to call you. Uh, you're gonna have 30 seconds to answer this question once I finish reading it. What NFC quarterback whose team is nine and eight led the league in completion percentage this year? I don't know. He says Brady. All right, do we have to say final answer or, or what? Yeah, that's your final answer. You can say. Final. Oh, okay. Okay. Three, two. So you have to hang final up. Final answer, on. Brady. Oh. Okay. That is incorrect. Okay. Uh, it's Gino. Oh. Is it? Is it? Or it's, Goff. Is it Goff? Or Goff. It's Gino or Goff. Those are the it's, two teams that are nine and eight. It's Gino. Are you are you a hundred percent? Because golf yes. had Gino. <laughs> okay. Gino Smith, final answer. It was oh, uh, Coop. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it was it was the Seahawks and the uh, Lions. Just for my own research, do all of the Macabros work at Chat Sports? No, I work at CBS. Word. But you guys all know PD. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Okay. No, Steven doesn't I only know, know Jeremy. Okay. Okay. Steven knows Coop's dad. I don't know him. I know who he is, but I don't know him. <laughs> Too many connections. Okay. Here's your question. You, I don't think you'll get a record amount of points, but it's in play, um, especially because the back end of the game might be on the easier side. Go, baby. What AFC quarterback whose team is 9-8 and eight led the league in passer rating at 105.5? It's minimum 10 games played. I meant to put it out from the other one. It doesn't matter. Um, not we have to think nine and eight teams, uh, Steelers. It wouldn't not, be Pickett, no. not Pickett. Is and you said they they had to play a minimum ten games. Yeah, it, it yeah. it's two. It, it, it's I think it's Tua then. Well, he had some stinkers the last couple of weeks. I don't hate Tua. He hasn't played but, the last. Yeah, game. I I saw some stat in like EPA. He was like second behind Mahomes. I okay. I don't hate Tua. Yeah, I'm fine and, with Tua. And, and because you added the caveat of minimum 10 games, it's somebody that missed some time. And what the Dolphins Herbert? are 9 and 8. What about Herbert? No, they what? no, because they had a better record. I, I like Tua. Yeah. Okay. Tua, to final answer. Train keeps rolling. Tua is correct. Gives you 11 points here. And we move on to the second niche round. This is the Beatles. Here's your question. What was the first Beatles album released to share a name with one of their films? This is for Mentally Illest. I mean, is it is it not Yellow Submarine? You know, it, that's kind of a tough one because I can't name the other ones because obviously a steal if we get this wrong kind of gives it away but the Beatles made three movies and I don't think it was it might have been I'm a I'm a defer to you Andrew this is all you whatever you think okay Yeah, we're going to go Yellow Submarine. Final answer. Chance to steal two points. Even. My first thought was Help. Um, I can't remember the other movie. There was Help, Yellow Submarine, and the other one. Abbey so Road? I, I, go, no, I literally have no idea. So. Not Abbey Road, no. The, I think Steve, it's Help, but Steve, Steven, you, not you, sure. you, you, you take you control. Use. Yeah, All we, right, we, Help, we final we answer. This would be A Hard Day's Night. Oh, Never that's the other one. That was the first movie, and this is, I think, that's their third album to be released. Um, okay, so we move on to the Macabros, which is Broadway. Here's your question. 
Big Girls Don't Cry, Stay in My Eyes, Adore You are all songs from what famous musical? Steven, we can we can phone either Danny or Nicole if you uh, need you to. cannot phone a friend on a niche. Oh good call. I have no clue, so yeah. Uh this is I don't know this one either. Um it's probably something recent because I only know I'm more of an expert on the older stuff. All I know um, is big girls don't cry from Fergie, so What famous musical? Oh, I, I I think I might know, but I I've only seen like Say three it. or four musicals. What do you think? I think it's Rent. Mean, no, it's not. Go Rent. for it then. No, I know it's not Rent. It's not Rent. Oh, okay. Shot that, of Ten seconds. Uh, Jagged Little Pill. I don't know. That's the Alanis Morissette. That it's out right now. I don't know. Just a guess. Jagged Little Jagged. Pill. Final. Chance to steal this. Boys, thoughts? Uh, yeah, boys. Not, yeah, boys. <laughs> not my niche. Jersey Ryan? Boys? Frankie Valley, Four Seasons, Big Girls Don't Cry? It's possible. My other thought was Kinky Boots. I don't think it's Kinky Boots. I, 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 I think it's probably – on, on, honestly, I'd go with Jersey Boys, too, final answer. Steal the niche. It is Jersey Boys. Good job. And now, Attaboy, we're Brian. right back into this game as it's a three-point game with four points remaining. Um, and we move on to ugly politics. Um, it's just about politicians who are ugly, or who were ugly, I guess, they're both dead. Okay, mentally illest. Not known for his looks, this leader was famous for his role in World War II resisting the Nazis and was later brought back as president of his country from 1959 to 1969. That's possible, 100%. Andrew? What? What? I'm sorry. You're a final answer, You're a final answer, man. <laughs> you can final answer this. Go for it. <laughs> Charles de Gaulle, final answer. It is Charles de Gaulle. I think this one will not be a challenge for either team. As nine, for the record, nine, just to like give you guys context in the league, nine points when the other team has 11 points is like absurdly high. Um, okay. This would clinch it for the Maca Bros. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, who have their phone a friend, but they might not use it. This politician was recognizable for the distinctive mark on his head that led his country from 85 to 91 and recently died last year. Is that one of the Russian politicians? That's Gorbachev. Yeah. Yep. Mikhail Gorbachev. Final answer. That is correct. So that pushes you up to 12 points. You're going to take this one. Um... I guess it came down to that Beatles question after the stolen niche, but we will power through the last category. Both teams looking really good in the first game. Candy components. So you're going to get what makes up a candy bar. You have to name the candy bar. Here's yours. Ooh. List. Nice. Name the candy based on its ingredients. Nougat topped with caramel covered in milk chocolate. Is that, is that, is that not a Twix? No, that is not. No, that's great. Get that. That's what the fuck? Oh, there's no, there's no nougat. Is there caramel in the Three Musketeers, bro? No, there's no caramel. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's it's a Milky Way, but what that's the That's a Milky Way. Oh, it's a Milky Way. Yeah. Cookie <laughs> Center, dude. Cookie Center. That's such a Milky <laughs> Way. That's, 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 that's <laughs> I'm a left Twix <laughs> person. Milky Way final. <laughs> left Twix. All right, it is it's, a, cl- it, it's cascaded in chocolate <laughs> as opposed to cloaked in it. Yeah, no, the cascades yeah, are better. Yeah, where sure. in the commercial did they mention nougat? My God. <laughs> they did it, okay? All right, last one no for this game. Name the candy based on its ingredients. Whipped mousse covered in milk chocolate. Three Musketeers, a, final answer. Three Musketeers, right? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about it. Three Musketeers. So that'll wrap us up in this game. Uh, it is... 10-13 is the final score, which is an absolute barn burner. Only, I think only one question, only the Beatles question was, or in the Capitals question were missed by both teams, which is very abnormal. Both teams looking really, really good early. Um, next week, mentally let's play the Chicken Hawks, who are one of the best teams in the league. So they have a very tough start to their season, which means they can come on strong later. And the Macabros Sanduskies, who had a better record. Uh, they suck. 
We'll yeah, see you, Petey. Com com complete frauds on that team, as we all know. Um, so, okay, I end the game getting thoughts from both people. Andrew, I'll go to you first. I know you guys lost, but you have to feel good about how you did because you got almost the vast majority of your questions right. And like I said, this this is not normal, This what you got matched up against tonight. So how are you feeling after your you know, maiden game in the league? I feel good. I feel like we put out a, a decent performance. Um, I, uh, I definitely don't think – it definitely didn't help us that we threw out Nick Nurse for that one. Um, but, uh, I mean, other than that, um, and also with the Beatles question, I mean, there's only three movies, so it's kind of mm. kind of a tough one. So no one no one got that. I take responsibility for that. That was my niche. So uh, it's it's on me tonight, and I'm okay with that. So. All right, Jeremy. Jeremy, how does it feel to finally win one in the, in the oh, show? I've been telling Petey. I said, hey, I'm piecing together a squad. I, I you told didn't believe him, I told him I got two guys who fit the things that I don't know. We, get, we have a very well-rounded squad, three guys who know sports, and Steven knows a little bit about Broadway and geography and stuff like that. Coop, more of, like, foreign sports, and then me just random stupid crap like sandwiches. So <laughs> we're, we're a very well-rounded team. Yeah, well, you look good tonight. All right, so let's see. I'm going to stop my share.